Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to a timeless pick a card reading. Now today I think I'm going to call this topic you and the other and the reason we're going to look at this is because I got a new deck which is the Animal Spirit Tarot I think. Gosh I don't even know, I haven't got the box here. Well I'll write the full name in the description but you can see it's this wonderful deck and I got it some, I think I got it some weeks ago, but I haven't used it. I haven't even had time to study it. I have briefly read the guidebook, but that was some weeks ago. As soon as it arrived, I had a quick look at the guidebook, but I've written this down. So we've got, because you know, on these, it's got a little key here that will give us the element. So if I don't know too much about the animal, then we've definitely got the elements. So I'm just going to do my best guys with this. And what I thought I would do is I draw like one for you and we'll have you at the top and then I'll draw one for the other person in question. And I do believe it's fine to do this because how we're going to do it is because I, I do have a bit of a thing about not wanting to spy on someone like I don't particularly want to use these tools to spy on someone else but what's perfectly fine to do is as we do in Vedic astrology you know we have the D9 chart that is representative of yes it's your future self it's also your spouse as well and when we look at your D9 chart what we're looking at we're, we're looking at the starlight the things that you're going to kind of draw from your partner because that's actually what you carry and so in that similar way we're going to look at you and the other but we're not spying on the other person we're looking at what it is within you that's attracting what the other is bringing to you I hope that makes sense it kind of makes sense in my head I don't know if I communicated that right but yeah so we're looking we are looking at you mostly and we're looking at what's going on with you that's going to draw out certain things from another person and this other person could be your neighbor it could be your friend it could be your partner your mother brother sister father whatever it could be anyone teacher boss co-worker all, all different types of people so yeah and we've got our code here so if i need to refer to that we've also got in the jar today we have rumi uh twice i think and some others but it's really interesting what came up in the jar today some of them are a bit like yeah they, they're powerful so let's see let's see what happens guys so feel free to choose from group one group two or group three and i'll see you in your reading Hi there group number one if you chose group number one you're in the right place before we draw these let's see who are you and who is the other or what is it within you that is drawing out certain things in the other so let's see what we've got going on so i want a card for you which spirit animal are you okay it's obvious good and we want one for the other so be thinking about someone in your life and it could be all kinds of different things it could be you know oh, that one wants to come out let's take that all right and then we'll do three tarot for each and we'll do an oracle card as well that's for you all right well straight away we've got some information there you are moving on from something let's see what kind of room we've got here okay and three for the other and then whoop, We'll get an oracle card each. Oh, we'll take that as well. Yep, like that one. And an oracle card each as well. Why not? OK, 
Okay, so this one's for you. Okay, that one wants to jump out. Just put that there. And this is for the other. That one. All right, let's see what's going on. So, who are you? Group number one. Oh, you are the bear. How sweet. Bears are great. And bears are earth animals. Yes, I've got my little key down here. So, we've got this beautiful earthy element. You might be hibernating at this time. Bears are wonderful. Okay. Let's see. I'm wondering which way we go. Do we, let's go this way. Let's go this way. Who is the other? Ooh, Phoenix. Rising from the ashes. And this is, as we can see from the code here, spirit. Someone very spiritual. Someone who is rising from the ashes. Incredible. So we do have some fire here as well. We've got some fire depicted. We've got a fiery other. We've got you. You're a very earthy other. You're a very grounded, practical, warm, loving. Bears are beautiful. Bears are loving, warm, and bears are a great animal, great spirit animal to have. All right, we've got the Six of Swords for you, dear bear. So for you, you're moving on from something or you're leaving something behind or you're leaving some baggage behind. It's something you've outgrown. King of Cups, wonderful. It's beautiful. So there are feelings here on your side. You've got some feelings. And they're good feelings. They're, they're the King of Cups. The King of Cups is, he's romantic, he's loving. He is ready to love, you know. He wants to love someone. He wants to give his love to someone. He's not a page who's just dreaming about it. He's not a knight who's just being a player and, you know, isn't ready to do something real. No, he's a king. You know, king, king wants, to, wants stability, wants to settle down, wants to build a life. That could be... Queen of Cups, Feminine, you can read it for both. Okay, Five of Pentacles. Yeah, there's some heartbreak energy here. So you are, you know, and this, this is a card of, I'm hearing the phrase like crying over spilt milk, but not recognizing the two cups. So in the old depiction, the traditional depiction, you've got three, um, hang on, is it two or three? I think there are two cups that have spilt and there are three that are still upright. But it doesn't matter, even if it was just two that are still upright, it doesn't matter because that's two cups, you know, that is the two of cups. I think it is two cups actually, and that's love, that's still good, but yet you're crying about what's lost. There's a key here in full view. This person can get up and transform the situation. You've got the power to transform. Let's see if you're crying about this person. I don't know yet, but let's take a look. The void. Yeah, so this is the, look at that, the bear and the void. I mean, this is perfect. You're in a place where you don't want to particularly do anything about this at the moment. You need rest, you need healing, you need time out. Time out is going to be a good thing for you right now. So if this is you, Take the time out, take the rest. And astrologically, this is a great time with Saturn in his own two houses. It's a great time to rest, to be a bear, to restructure, to, you know, to get ready for what's new. Now, let's take a look at this Phoenix person. What's going on here with the other? Or what is it within you that's drawing this out of the other? Let's, let's see if we can explore. Okay, the star. So this person looks like they are healing. They're rising up out of ashes. Seems like they're healing something. The emperor. And I think this person is 
ambitious maybe that's what the rising is all about they are rising they're eager to progress in life they are eager to succeed to go somewhere they're, they're flying up and perhaps they've needed to fly up because they've been a bit broken or down actually because the star is healing and this is kind of I'm pretty sure this is Aquarius and I always think that yes Aquarius in the 11th house it's all the hopes dreams and wishes it is all of that but I always think that see for me I don't ever see Aquarius as being so blitzy or glamorous or successful or at the top I often see people yeah are um because who's hoping and wishing and dreaming a lot of the hopes and wishes and dreams are coming because you've been in a bad place so i think this person is spending their energy i, I don't think they're just hoping and dreaming and wishing i think they're doing something about it i think they are on the move maybe that's why you feel you know you're perhaps feeling left out maybe you perceive that they are moving ahead without you oh wow six of wands yeah look at that i mean it's they're, they're, this energy is epic this energy is of this phoenix person is yeah i've been down yeah i've been broken but i'm succeeding look at that this is the this is the card of the person who rides back into town he or she is on the horse victorious and is looking at everyone in the town saying you, you didn't think i could do it but i did it there's success here for this person let's take a look at this last card okay attraction yeah and I'm seeing this because one way of reading this would, would be to say that, well, this person is attractive. But no, I actually think there's an attraction in this person's world to, to success right now. To I think what this person wants is to be the emperor, is, is to build an empire. I can, yeah, I, can, I sense this person's really going for it. And... I sense that you may be in this situation where and I'm, yeah, I'm also getting you don't have the energy to go for it. And maybe you're sad or upset that you feel like you could have gone for it with this person, but you're not or you didn't. There's something perhaps that you're emotional about with this King of Cups here. But what I feel is what would be good for you is to mm, let me think a bit more about this because I was just about to say it might be good for you to move on from this person. But actually, this person is doing you a real service because they are mirroring back to you, you, the you are this successful person. You, I, there's somebody in your world that you're perceiving is very successful and is moving on and is doing great and they're amazing and I'm not. And what I want to say to you is that they are a reflection of what you can be. You're not missing out on anything here. Look at this. This is such a powerful card. There's nothing you're missing if all she has to do is lift her head and see the key and she can walk through the door and when she does that and she will do that she'll do that after the period of the void i think you need to go through this void period <coughs> <coughs> oh sorry something hmm, stuck in my throat um and again yeah th this does come up for you group one speaking up is going to be important right that's that's something and it's so interesting before starting this reading like i was just burning up like i had to take off my jumper it was really ugh. so there was all this yeah i don't know what that's about let's take but I, well, what i'm seeing here group one is i'm seeing that i think you are perceiving that somebody is moving on flying up they're succeeding they're leaving you behind but what i want to say to you is that 
they are mirroring everything that you are you are capable of all this and more you can do exactly this and you will you will you just need a period of void time you need to clear and pass through these emotions okay and mm, that's what this is you're, you're moving through the emotions okay this i don't actually see this as a leaving behind i see this as a moving through you're moving through something through this void period when you come out of it you know and is this person still going to be around they might be they might not be it doesn't matter because you're going to be this person you're going to be doing all these things you're going to be rising out of the ashes you're going to be healing or healed some wish fulfillment massive wish fulfillment you'll be the emperor you've got all this to look forward to you're going to succeed and you, I feel like you're going to be able to run towards the things that you're attracted to and you can enjoy them. This is a really good spread, group one. I can understand if you're in these emotions and it doesn't feel good. I, I can understand that. But p move through them. You know, cry, grieve, go through all that stuff. Uh, you know, I, I, yeah, I've done, I've done that stuff and it's, it's healing and it's cathartic and it's, it's good. Because you emerge renewed and healed. Oh, look, we've got a lot for you. Okay, we're doing it. I was, I was just going to do two for each group this time. Let's do this. Oh, amazing. Yeah, I love this quote. Some of us are building from scratch. No inheritance, no connections, no backups, just blood, sweat and skills. Yeah. Fantastic. Yep. You're going to be, I think if you're perceiving some other in your world to be succeeding and know that, you know, that they it might just appear like that. They might actually be having a really tough time. You don't know. You never know from social media. <laughs> People just post the good stuff. <laughs> no one no one ever, you know, posts that they're crying into their porridge in the morning. No no one no one does that. Except comedians. <laughs> they make a joke out of it. Anyway, all right, let's have a look here. Okay. Oh yes, yes, yes. I love this quote. I was just telling my mum about this quote. This is such a good quote. Every man should lose a battle in his youth, so he does not lose a war when he is old. Yeah, I love this. Absolutely. And there, to me, this is a, a real quote that frames failure in a very positive light. Uh, you know, this, this almost makes you want to lose a battle or two, you know, just, just to pick up the wisdom. But you're in a phase of picking up the wisdom, okay? And it might not feel like it, but you've got to go through it. And when you come out the other side, you will be wiser, you will be stronger, you will know a lot. The other thing I discovered through the meditations I've been doing lately is that we instinctively and inherently know what is healthy. We know what is psychologically healthy. And when you acknowledge fear and grief and negative emotions and the things that are going on up here when you see them and experience them and be with them then they don't try to subconsciously make themselves known to you because you're consciously looking at them so look at the uncomfortable stuff look at the unpleasant stuff recognize yeah wow i am feeling all this stuff that i'd rather not be see that and then it, it goes away I'll tell you. Oh, this thing's going to run out. We're at the 16-minute mark. It does that. I'll keep going. Oh, this is a great quote as well. Yeah, this was one of the ones that was a bit full on. If you are silent about the pain, they'll kill you and say you enjoyed it. Yeah, that's, that's epic. It's so true. And that, that's what I got about speaking up earlier when my throat went a bit weird. Like, yeah, I think there's some component here that you really need to speak up about. Oh, I can see it's... Hi, group one. Sorry about that. It got cut. I knew it would do that. Yeah, th this, is, this is an important quote. This is about 
speaking up, being real, being true, making sure that it's known. And if not to the other in question, then to a witness. Everyone needs a witness to, you know, we need a witness. It's a spiritual function. Uh, Caroline Mace talks about it, the importance of having your stuff witnessed by someone. And that can be a good friend, that can be a spiritual counsellor, director, somebody, you know. Um, this is important. Ah, and if you don't have anyone, write it out. Write it out on paper. What I do is I, I've put this in my meditation process. I write my stuff out and then I scribble it out. And in that scribbling, I feel like I'm taking charge of my life. Um, so you can, you can definitely try that. But group number one, hang in there and get through this void. You've got a lot to look forward to. Okay, it's coming. I can feel it. All right, well, take care. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there, group number two. If you chose group number two, then you're in the right place. Before I draw these, we're going to take one spirit animal for you and one for the other that you're dealing with. <clears throat> Apologies about my throat, everyone, in group one. Uh, yeah, I think some... Something came up. I don't know. Like my, I'll take that one. My voice has been fine all day. And sometimes what happens is when I record these things, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, my voice will go crazy. And I do think it's got something to do with chakra clearing for the group in question. I, yeah, I, I don't know. It's uh, maybe it's not. But maybe it is. <laughs> All right, so let's take some cards for you. And we'll take one Queen of the Oracle deck. <coughs> oh, sorry about this. Aha, uh -huh. okay, that really wants to be here. We'll take it. have a little bit of a pause but and just and some water just now but yeah I didn't group two maybe there's some um, oh that's a good card take that <laughs> maybe there's some chakra clearing needed in this group as well because <coughs> I can feel it's kind of not it's not letting up and my health has been really good lately so yeah. Okay. And one of these for each. Okay, so this is you. And this is the other. All right, let's see what's going on. Okay, so for you. We have, oh, the sea serpent. This is the serpent that is wanting to eat its own tail. And we've got, there's a very spiritual creature here. Okay, that's you. It's definitely some form of, you know, very high being. Let's take a look at the other. That you're dealing with. All right, we've got a unicorn. Amazing. So someone equally spiritual, high being, rare. Unicorns. One of the things about unicorn is that they are very rare creatures. You don't see them very often. You do see them on the royal crest. Uh, the royal? No, it's not royal. Well, the, the crest for the United Kingdom, right? That creature is there. Okay, well, let's get back to you. Three of Swords. Yeah, I thought I saw the Three of Swords there. Okay, so there is a bit of heartbreak energy here on the table. Six of Swords. Wow, we just had that. God, that's incredible. Okay, a lot of people are moving on, moving forward, moving into calmer waters. 
you're definitely doing that. Not only are you doing that group one, group two, sorry. You've got some connection with group one. Do watch group one, I think, if it would help. Because they had this card here too. Although I think theirs is a little bit different. I think you're moving on from some old heartbreak. Something maybe that, that wasn't working there. You're going to reinvent yourself. You're going to reinvent your heart. What it is to love, what it is to give love, what it is to receive love. All of that I think is going to be renewed for you. And even though this is a timeless reading, if you are watching this when I publish it, we've got Mars and Venus very close together across Feb and March. <clears throat> and now the thing about this is that that's going to give a lot of people an opportunity to totally restructure their heart. A lot of this conjunction energy is going to happen in Capricorn. So a lot of people are restructuring their lives to accommodate even more love than they've ever had before. And you're definitely doing that. Oh, how incredible. Queen of the moon, sovereignty. Yeah, you're, you are graduating up to being the queen of your life, to being the king of your life, to being regal, to being at the top, to being in charge. Wonderful. Let's take a look at the other. Okay, so who is this? Okay, the Eight of Swords. This person is in some victim energy. <clears throat> right, let's have a look here. The Fool, okay. Let's keep going. Three of Cups. Mmm, resilience. Yeah. Yeah, th this, uh, this other that you're dealing with, I think they... Yeah, it's, how do I phrase this? I'm just going to say it. I, they're kind of not at your level. Yes, they're a spiritual being. Yes, they're rare. Yes, they're special. Yes, they've got a lot of amazing things going on. They're incredible in many ways. I do see that. But there's something about, I feel like you, could, you just can't keep doing this anymore. Victim, you know, the fool, but like how I'm going to see this, this is new beginnings, but it's kind of, this and this is just, it's a lot of fun, but... But what it, this, this is a lot of fun, but it keeps a person trapped kind of thing. They're, they're very materialistic, interestingly. There's something about this person that's materialistic. They're a, bit, they're a little bit superficial, though I think where you connected with them, it's like you, can, you connected with them spiritually. You know that they're deep. You know that they've got so much. Yet they they are kind of cheating themselves by staying trapped and staying in the 3D world. I'm kind of getting like they're kind of they're kind of 3D, they're kind of like, yeah, let's go shopping and have fun. But you're like, you know, you're you're not you can't keep living on this plane. You need to go up. And the more you hang out with this person, it's kind of just going to drag you down or keep you at the same place. You've got to move forward. And I'm not particularly, <clears throat> it's interesting, I'm not particularly getting a love life thing here. I'm, I'm even getting this could be a friend. Or, yeah, I'm kind of getting friendship vibes here. And I feel like maybe the friendship hasn't worked out, and yet that has been heartbreaking for you. But yeah, there's something about this friendship that I think this is friendship. Isn't that interesting? And I think you guys were sweet together. I think you guys were pretty amazing. And you can see that this is a great person. But they are choosing to stay blindfolded. They're choosing 
this they're choosing that hey I'm, I, I want to be in the 3d world I want to go shopping I want you know I want to be trapped and you're just like no you're like come on let's leave that behind and let's you know new earth I want to I want to graduate I want to be free I want I want to reinvent the whole world <laughs> you know that's what you're into and I think this person perceives what you want is too much work. And whereas you're looking at them going, uh uh, I think where you are is too much work. You know, and I think you are definitely going to somewhere that's much more peaceful and it's new earth. You know, you're going to a good place. So you be you. And you flow on into the new, you know. Um, <laughs> And one of the things, this also reminds me of, I, I saw this um, JP Sears video come up on my dashboard. I haven't been watching him very much lately because, yeah, I kind of know what he's doing. I love him. He's great. But, like, he, do, he always does these videos, which I love, where he'll put on this, like, multicolored wig, and the wig is all these kind of pastel kind of colors. I'm kind of getting those vibes here a little bit as well. I don't know. I don't know if that applies. That might apply to some of you. It might not. But some of you might have that cool thing too, which I love. So don't worry. I'm not saying that that's a bad thing or that that means anything. <laughs> like people who have that hair, I, I love it. I, I think it's wonderful. I remember I was working in this ad agency and there's this um, really young account girl. She had this blue hair and I thought she was so cool. I loved it. And yeah, I think um, I think that's fine. But that, that, this just reminded me of that. So I don't know if that applies to anyone. But it's interesting. It's interesting. And I, do, do I feel like the two of you will never hang out again? No, it, things might change. You know, it's just like for now, you, you're, you're best served. I mean, we, yeah, we need a lot more queen consciousness on the planet. You know, we need a huge amount more of that because there's, we're going to see, maybe we're going to see a house of cards tumble. Maybe we're going to see some, que some actual queens falling down kind of thing or, or not, you know, being at the top anymore. And that all has to be replaced with, with good energy, you know. New Earth is, is on. It's happening. Oh, look at that. This is a great quote for this group. Change is hard at first, messy in the middle, and gorgeous in the end. Robin Sharma. Yes, yes. So true. And you're doing the hard stuff here. And you're going to see that you do this hard stuff now of you graduating, becoming responsible, being a leader, doing all the stuff that you want to do. Do it and it'll be smooth sailing for you. Whereas this person's still going to be trapped uh, and, and mm, burdened kind of thing. Yeah, they're, they're, they're choosing not to change in favor of life as usual, business as usual party party you know let's have fun right which is great but uh it's it's that's not gonna that's not gonna take them anywhere and they, look they might not want to go you know you'd be amazed how many people are comfortable how many people are comfortable with this with being a victim and being burdened for a lot of people this is their comfort zone and to change a tiny little thing about it freaks them out whereas you're like no let's change it let's you know you're just like no way let's change this thing you know let's let's break stuff down and move to better waters reinvent the world and let's all be sovereign let's all be queens let's all be regal we can you yeah. know that's great group two you're in a you're in a good way and yeah, as I say, you never know. This, this person might change. <laughs> oh, I love this. This is great. Those who wish to sing always find a song. Yes. I saw this. Where did I see this? I don't even remember now, but it was somewhere on my internet travels. And I really love this. And I feel like this is you. Those who wish to sing always find a song. I think the quality of the song that you want to sing is very high. You expect better for all of us 
not just for you you want all of us to be this you want all of us to be a queen you're like you know why should any one of us be left behind we can all be living great lives you know that and and those who wish to sing always find a song it's like see it's that dream and that desire in your heart and that believe it or not is coming from here three of swords is a heartbreak card it's a card of pain and all that but Sometimes, yeah, it's that strong desire to create something magical and wonderful. And yeah, desire can be painful. But your tremendous desire is leading you to very good places. So just, just know. This also reminded me, when I was writing this, um, it reminded me of Oprah Winfrey who had this prayer. And she said, um, Lord, use my hands. You know, show me what to do. Show me what work to do in the world. And this is that similar thing. Show me what I'm meant to do. You'll be guided. You'll be shown. Definitely. The song will find you. Group number two. Well, I'm going to have to wrap this up here. It has been such a joy to do this reading for you, group two. Let me know how you got on in the comments below. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there, group number three. If you chose group number three, then you are in the right place. Before we draw these, what we're going to do is we're going to shuffle to find you, your spirit animal. And then we're going to find the spirit animal of the other person. I've just done this for group one and two. I'm liking this spread type. I think it's really cool. Oh, we've got a slightly indented card. That's interesting because it's a brand new deck and I haven't really used it. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so I'm liking doing this type of spread. It's a lot of fun and my throat has completely cleared up. So group number three, your throat chakras are magnificent. So please do be creative <laughs> at this time. Your throat chakras are in good shape. Okay, now we're drawing cards, three cards for you, and then we're going to draw three cards for the other person. This is for you. This is also a new deck, which I haven't used very much, but I really like. The illustrations are very beautiful in this. I always think that would be an amazing profession to be an illustrator. I don't have the skill or talent. I can use a computer, but I can't. Oh, let's shuffle. But yeah, I can't draw by hand. That's okay. Maybe in, the, in my next life, maybe I will be <laughs> granted the ability to draw. People, people have told me, though, that you can learn it, but I don't know. <laughs> okay, let's get one for you. And one, okay, that's you. And one for the other person. Okay. Right. So who are you, group one? <gasps> Fantastic. You're the crocodile. Yeah, and look, the card is a bit kind of mangled and like bent and everything. So there's clearly a crocodile here because it's chewing up the card. I don't, as I say, I don't know how this one card is dented because they're all perfect. So that's pretty incredible. This is a ferocious crocodile. Now, this is fantastic energy group three. You're going places because this is Capricorn. It's 10th house, isn't it? Pretty sure it is. I've got to learn my, uh, I've got to memorize my my animals in the stars. Ooh, butterfly. Okay, so you're dealing with a butterfly. So in terms of elements, what do we have going on here? We've got we've got the crocodile, which is water. Okay. So we've got some kind of water. You could be well as I say, I mean you could have Capricorn energy because of our Vedic system, but you could 
be Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. And we've got, well, clearly this should be air, yes. <laughs> and we've got an air person here. So they could be Gemini. They could be Libra. They could be Aquarius. Okay. I should have said that for the other two groups. It doesn't matter. All right. Let's, I'm new to this deck. I'll, I'll get into it. Okay. Eight of Cups. Wow, you're walking away. All right. Yeah. Something you're walking away from, group three. Six of Pentacles. Yeah. You want equality. You want justice. <laughs> you want fairness. You want equality. You want equality in relationships, I would imagine. Okay, Knight of Pentacles. Interesting, they've depicted him on a broomstick. This is like one of the slowest moving. I hope he doesn't drop out of the sky. Well, he hasn't got it. He hasn't even got off the ground. He's still on the ground. Yeah, that's a great depiction. So Knight of Pentacles is his man on a horse holding a, you know, one of these coin type things, Pentacles, and um, he's slow moving. But you know that what he is going to build and develop and design is going to last for a very long time. It's going to be strong and sturdy and stable, kind of it's very Saturn-like, you know, Saturn creating something in a Saturnian way. You're going to do it very slowly, but it's going to last and it's, it's, it can be something powerful. I've got a lot of power here. You're a crocodile. And as I said, Capricorn. So we've kind of got these Saturn vibes I'm getting twice here. That's interesting. Okay, the path. Yeah. This is interesting. A couple of days ago, I was picturing myself walking on a path where my foot is on one brick. And there's, well, there are bricks around here, but there was, my foot is on one brick. Anyway, the previous brick has just disintegrated. And, you know, my next leg is reaching out for the next brick that just appears just in time. And then I step on that and then the previous one drops. And then, you know, like this, I'm walking this path that A, doesn't exist, and B, is disintegrating behind me. That is interesting, because that was a weird visual that I had, and I was contemplating that for a while. Someone here might need that. Maybe that's why that came in. I don't know, does anyone else feel like that, that like, your path is disintegrating behind you and it's materializing in front of you but at the nick of time like yes the the brick will materialize but it's materializing just as you put your foot down the path there's something about your path here that's fascinating let's see who you're dealing with okay so we've got a butterfly maybe it's someone quite chatty uh Five of Cups. All right. So, yeah, there's some heartbreak energy here. There's some, yeah, okay, crying over the three. These are three spilt cups. I was talking about that in group one. This is really interesting. And see, there's a two of cups here. Two of cups is love. You've got two upright cups. So the person, the other that you're connecting in with, they are in some form of heartbreak. Knight of Swords. This is very fast moving energy. And look at that, he's high in the sky. Yeah, okay, so somebody, it's like there's somebody in your world who's possibly heartbroken, but they're, as a result of this, they are not grounded. Somebody in your world that you're dealing with, them, yeah, they're not grounded. Oh wow, Ten of Pentacles, yeah, and it, it feels like they, their dream is to have this. And I kind of, I kind of want to say, yeah, their dream is to have this with you. But maybe, but you've got this walking away energy here. Let's see what this is. Ah, assessing, yeah. Yeah, and this person is assessing. I think they are not sure about you. And I'm getting in my head, yeah, that's, there's something about like maybe they're, they're looking for signs from you or something like that, but they're not seeing any. 
they're like, well, on their end, they're trying to figure this thing out, but they're like, I can't read you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> try to read the crocodile. Good luck with that. Look at that. <laughs> Who can read this? Do you know what I mean? Like it's, that's great. How do you read a crocodile? Yeah, I don't know if you can. Crocodiles are a bit scary. Maybe, and maybe that's what this person sees of you. They're seeing that that you're hard to read, your back is turned, you know, okay, you're working, you're constructing your world, you're, and yeah, you're doing it slowly. So there's nothing that's happening for you here in a rush because you've got two pentacles cards, one cups, but you're not emotional, you're not emotional, uh, you're, you're this crocodile. You're hard to read. And that's earth. No, no, this is water, this is water. It is water, but yeah, it's, it's Cap I'm th keep thinking of Capricorn, because in the Vedic system, this is Capricorn. Mm, you're hard to read, group three. And I think you're f focused on your path. And it kind of feels like there's someone here who would have liked to have had this with you. Or create something like this with you. Maybe it's, yeah, maybe it's a family, or maybe it's a business, maybe, but it's something. Something, if somebody wanted to create something with you, even a friendship, whatever, something like that. And they've had to, they've had to, look at this, they've had to go into the sky. Isn't this incredible? We've got three cards of this one person who's heartbroken that their t this Ten of Pentacles vision is not happening. They're heartbroken, they're crying over it. Ten of Pentacles, the vision, the dream, it is not happening. So look at what they've done. They've gone into the sky, okay, in every way possible. So they've turned into a butterfly, they've gone in the sky. They've got this... Knight of Swords thing, air, okay, and, and this depiction is, I mean, he's shooting up higher into the sky, and this, this person's in an air balloon now, so they, they are not grounded, and you, I feel like you're just trying to materialize and walk your path, and I think you're slow and steady about it, and you might have some feeling that you know, the brick behind me is disintegrating. And I don't know when the next one is appearing, but it, it turns up just before my feet, you know, goes, goes down kind of thing. So I do feel like you're dealing with a lot of uncertainty, actually. You are, because you've turned your back on this nice thing here, these nice eight cups. You have turned your back on it. And it's like you're in a quest... For equality you're in a quest for justice you're in a quest for for that yeah for yourself but for others as well this is a world that's in chaos right now and and i feel like you're tapped into that and you're pursuing creating your path in such a way that it brings equality for you and the people around you i think you're doing fine As for this person, I mean, and if this is a reflection of you, what is that saying? Well, maybe there is, oops, sorry if I screwed up the mic there, it's just touching the camera. Um, hmm, this is a reflection of you. Maybe there's a part of you that when things get too emotional, you kind of check out, you go high. Um, you become ungrounded or maybe when things get a bit too emotional you become ungrounded or you go high you go up you go into dreamland go into fantasy and there's nothing wrong with that it might just be one of the things that you do <laughs> let's take a look in here see what see what quotes come up this is really interesting. I 
I don't know. I'm just trying to think what the guidance would be for you. Mm, I, I think the guidance would be for you as a person. You can't do anything about the other. You don't know what's going on there. They're just mirroring back to you, you anyway. And the guidance for you is to process any emotions of grief, heartbreak, heartache, any of that. And you can do that, yes, by taking a bird's eye view and going high, but uh, I think come down to ground, ground level, and uh, go through it, move through it. Same as group one. Group one just needs to move through, move through the emotions, you know? Yeah. It'll resolve. It'll be all right, whatever this is. All right, let's take a look and let's see what this is. The wise ones who see that the consciousness within them is the same consciousness within all beings attain peace. Yeah, this is lovely. And I think that's the wisdom of what this other person is actually showing you. I actually think this person is really quite wise and gentle. And I think they are, I think this other person is wise too. I think you are too. I mean, both of you are, but I think you just do it in different ways. Nice. You'll attain peace. You will. You'll atta and you'll attain this. Who doesn't want this? Everybody wants this. <laughs> Don't they? <laughs> I think so. It's a lovely scene. Let's see what the next one is. Yeah. Okay. I'm trying to straighten everything out. <laughs> oh, we're running out of time. It's getting to the 16 minute mark because the camera will cut out. All right, let's have a look here. Oh, how stunning. Yes, I love this quote. The only thing you'll lose by being real is something that's fake. Yeah. I agree with that 100%. Yeah, be real. And I think you are, actually. But I think, I think you're just hard to read, group three, that's all. But I think you are being real, and I think you're determined to create real things going forward. And I feel like, I think some of this is a little bit of fantasy, actually. And, um, and I think you're not going to be distracted by it. I think you are going to create a very good, solid life for yourself and keep going and the real the thing that is real will find you and will stay with you you just keep being real that is all you have to do that's it that's the only thing you have to do group three keep being real everything that's fake will disintegrate like as i was saying everything that's fake will disintegrate like that previous brick on your path that's you know just disintegrating before the next one appears. The, the, yeah, be real. That's all you have to do. That's, that's the guidance for this group. Amazing. Well, thank you so much for tuning in. And let me know how you get on in the comments below. I love to read how these work out for you. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Mm -hmm.